It was like welcome, oh. welcome everyone. Welcome to the <laughs> builders of diversity, where we're bridging the gap between the typical community and the disability community. And today right. we're going to talk about genuine friendship between typical kids and their special needs friends. Right. And, yeah, right. go ahead, Roberta. No, I, I was just going to say, right, even though we're not in the same room today, we're we're <laughs> We're still bridging that gap, and we we are um, we are talking about friendship. And one of the most beautiful things I witness as a special education teacher is when a child with disabilities is in with their typical peers, and they are playing and laughing and joking around, and it's just normal kids being kids, and I think what people don't see is how those relationships are reciprocal, how they are um, they're, they're beneficial for both parties. It's not like, oh, look at those great kids taking care of their special needs friend. They're having a blast. Right. And they're laughing and they're they're doing kid things. They're playing games. Um, at our school today, we had a special event, and all of the kids were included. Could you pick out on the field from a distance who the special needs kids were? No. No, no it's over the kids with mobility issues. And even then, if they were sitting still, no, you wouldn't have, because everybody was just meshed up together, having a good time, and laughing and talking and enjoying each other's company. And I know as a mother, that's one thing you worry about with your special needs children is them having uh, relationships with others. Uh, my older son, actually, the other day, I was talking about his brother having Down syndrome, and he was, he doesn't see his brother as being different. Okay. He sees him as like anybody else. And my son's 19, so it's not like he's young or anything, but he, he sees his brother as like a, a, a typical person um, who has feelings, who laughs, who's sad, who cries, who's happy. Who can make you laugh. Yeah, absolutely. Who can make you feel better when you're sad? Who knows how to cheer you up mm -hmm. and will um, partner with you to complete a difficult task? It, right. You know, so I think that's the thing that that we forget. Right. So absolutely. many times we'll have kids volunteer to hang out with the special needs kids or, um, you, you know, work in um, like a unified sports and what you don't realize is for many of the kids who come back year after year after year and look forward to it they've developed real friendships that mm -hmm. that benefit them right and you know special needs kids need friendships that go beyond the school beyond their home um because it's it can be very lonely for them um that they don't have that social interaction. And it's great that there's things like organized stuff like Special Olympics or whatever, but they're still with kids who have disabilities. Unified sports is great um, where there's typical kids where they can uh, build relationships with. Um, but, you know, it'd be nice if they get invited to a birthday party right. um, or a graduation right. party or to the movies. Um, even if they're just parents... Just for a sleepover or an afternoon, a weekend hangout, right. you know, come on, let's come over, come over for movie night. We'll pop some corn. Right. Um, yeah. Come on over where we're playing badminton or some outdoor game. That, and I think sometimes parents are nervous to have a special needs child visit their house because they're not sure they don't want to do something wrong. Well, the only thing you could do wrong is be mean. Right. You now, and if the child needs special instructions, like it has a food allergy or has a, a, an irrational fear or something, that, then I'm sure their parents will tell you before they drop right. them off. Right. You won't just drop off a child with special needs because, you know, I know you, you special needs moms. You have lists 
<laughs> you have explicit directions and you know you're not going to be shy about telling people what your kid needs right. and our phone is always on ready to take text messages phone calls um you know special needs moms have their phones very accessible especially when their child's not with them <laughs> cute pictures of your kids having fun yes it's like every mom out there so if your child gets invited to a special needs child's birthday party mm -hmm. go strike up that friendship get to know the mom right. you will you and your child will be glad that you did Absolutely. Because these relationships are are special and reciprocal. It's not just one sided. Right. If you happen to like our content, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. We would greatly appreciate it if you could help us get out into the YouTube universe, or as right. Nathan calls it, the YouTube. Drop us a comment. Yes. We really, we really would love to hear from you. Absolutely. Or if you'd like a topic covered on disabilities, um, that's what we talk about. That's it's, all we talk about. <laughs> I know. <laughs> all right. Smash all those buttons, everyone. We appreciate it. Bye. Thank you.